know that she was far, far away. Because she didn't know what free bear house was. So, she drives and sees that it's a bear, a three bear, a short bear, I'm taking some, oh, be careful. I'm taking some video. I'm videotaping you. Um, are you going to clap too? Yeah, I'm anxious to hear about this story. Finley, please be careful. And the baby bear. Finley, you are worrying me. Mommy, are you going to take the <coughs> Yeah, I'm videotaping. And the baby bear had a heart. Oh. For someone. With little hearts on it. That, that didn't have a toe. Any hearts? Yeah. So the heart flew to the other house that didn't have a, that no one had. Mommy, we need a computer. You need a computer? Yeah. And. Okay, just a minute. Mommy, how do you spell one? Like now. once upon a time? Yeah, how do you spell once upon a time? Yeah. O. Kay. N. Kay. C. Are you Kay. watching, Mommy? E. Then the heart was once upon a time. Mommy! Upon is you. Mommy, are you listening? Yes. P. Then P. the house. Then the heart. Kay. O. But I found out that I was coming home early. Thank you. Was this the surprise? Yes! Yeah. This is I a surprise. Knew it. Are you shocked? Uh huh. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, Daddy. Hi. How are you? Good. Hi. There are no limits. Oh my gosh, my heart is pounding so hard. No limits to what parents will do for their children. My name is Kathy Chandler. And my husband is Sergeant First Class Daryl Chandler. When war has split the family. My husband's been gone for nine months. Today he's coming home from Afghanistan. When children are fighting their own war of loneliness back home. The boys have been taking this pretty hard. Their boys, ages seven and three. The boys are not here at the airport with their mom and friends for their father's arrival. He's coming. Kathy and Daryl Chandler know that as much as they've missed each other, Their boys have missed him with the fathomless depth of the child's heart. So Kathy and Daryl did this for their boys. Kathy told seven-year-old Cole and three-year-old Aiden that they could enter a contest and the winner would get a visit from a Power Ranger. And this is the entry Cole wrote. He said, I should have a superhero come to my class because I've been stressed out lately and my dad is at war in Afghanistan. If the Red Ranger came to my class, that would make my day. And he won. <laughs> of course, there was only one entry in the contest and Kathy was the judge. He knows where his stress is coming from. He knows that what he's doing as a military kid is a hard job. And the fact that he touches that, um, makes me as a mom just so much more compassionate for him and all the struggles that he's going through. And of course, Cole was surprised and excited when he found out that he won and the Power Rangers showed up. And of course, he would soon find out who the superhero was underneath the Power Rangers mask. <laughs> it's, it's been hard. It's been hard on, on especially the older one. Army Sergeant First Class Daryl Chandler and Kathy Chandler know that someday the boys will understand that what their parents hope they are giving them is bigger than a surprise homecoming. 
that their sacrifice and service is giving them their future. You do for your country, knowing that hopefully that what I'm doing today, it's something they won't have to go through, and to give them a better life for it, that's what I do it for. There are no limits to what parents will do for their children. In Stockbridge, John Shirek, 11 Alive News. Family. Surprise, I don't mean to. Um, a great family atmosphere that I can invite all of you over to help me celebrate really important things. Um, however, I kind of told a little bit of a fib. I did not really sell a house in Avila. Yesterday, Kate and Matthew went to the airport. She don't know I'm here. <laughs> I miss you guys so much. Door, please. You have to unlock it. Unlock the door, please. Go ahead, open it. Unlock it. Okay, here, I'll help you. Come on in.
You might want to look in the closet, though. Ah! Oh my oh god! Oh my god! Get out of here! Are you serious? I have a question for you. <laughs> Your son's been lying to you. Does that mean he gets a lump of coal for Christmas? Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. Hi. Oh my gosh. Lucas. Hey guys. No way. What the hell? Happy holidays. What's going on in your shoulders? Just some little present. Mark. Doug. I, I can't believe it, dude. Yeah. This is I seen you I'm going, what the hell? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, nice. we've got the surprise. Uh, He's been playing the whole God. time. Doug, how you doing? How's I'm going? sleeping in your room, sorry. Mr. Oh, sorry, Ryder, man. how you doing? <laughs> Scott <laughs> Shakers. Lucas, unbelievable. Yeah. 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 We, 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 oh, no, we, we picked him up last night. Oh, they um, And we had to go get his bag um, this morning because they lost it or something. Yeah, so, and uh, so here we are. We just yep. surprised Mom. We're going to about to go spoon David in bed. Sleeping in late, man. <laughs> He's still sleepy. Nothing's changed. It's good to see you, man. <laughs> uh, my name is Christopher McGinnis, and I'm here to surprise my brother, Willie McGinnis, during the game today. All the plan is to have the, the rest of the team run out there, and then um, after they do the interviews, or introductions, excuse me, for the team. I'm gonna run out afterwards and surprise them. Sure. Can't wait, can't wait. Start to get probably a little jittery. <laughs> He actually told me he wasn't gonna be there, so I was I was kind of surprised. They pulled me over to the side and I th put a camera in my face. I thought I was just talking to the camera, going like this, and they grabbed my arm and my brother showed up. So it's a great thing to happen. That was great. He was a big supporter of me last year, my first year. He was out there almost at every game last year, and this is his first game this year. And hopefully, he comes out the last two. So it means a lot being there. He's been there my whole career, high school through college, everything. So it's really great. 